so in the yogic culture this is called as virya virya also refers to what you call as vajra which means stability or diamond which is the hardest thing so in the human body virya is considered to be like vajra that means it is one of the most potent things if you know how to use it well how to use it means you can use it to produce a child that's one thing well if you are uh, this question is coming because uh, you are using it to spill it on the jnu uh, bed sheets okay <laughs> if that's how you are using it well that's your compulsion you're doing whatever you're doing i'm um, this is not something to be judged morally that's not the point it's a question of what is the level of compulsion that one has but anything in this body can it be transformed into a different level of function absolutely not just semen just everything in this body can be transformed see suppose i give you all soup making ingredients same soup making ingredients to every one of you do you believe all of you will produce the same soup now you will produce 500 varieties of soups those same ingredients that's all that's happened with us right now all of us are fundamentally same ingredients but see how different each one of us are different soups well if i give you soup making ingredients either you can make a great soup or a lousy soup depends what kind of skills you have isn't it so this goes for everything not just for semen every dimension of your body and your mind you can transform into into something tremendous or you can make it mediocre or you can make it a serious problem every aspect of your life that goes for this aspect of life also see uh, people are making it literal translations but if you want to produce a certain let's say epithelial cells how much energy the body spends on it and if you want to produce a cell which you call a semen how much energy body spends is very different this can be scientifically established so when you're investing so much energy in that obviously it has a potency if you know how to explore but are you competent to explore are you capable of exploring do you have the necessary sadhana and guidance to do that that's a big question mark